There are so many YouTube channels in the YouTube community. It's hard to stand out. But the ones that do and are successful at it are mostly the white Caucasian community. They do work hard and they deserve to be where they're at. At the same time, where my color people at? If you scroll down my videos on my channel, you'll see that I react more to YouTubers that are that are of color. And that's because we all need to fucking work together and grow together. So we're gonna go ahead and react to a video by Everyday Days. And yes, they are of color. <laughs> this is Snow the Product. She is a rapper, well known. Snow the Product is Mexican, her girlfriend is Puerto Rican. And you know what? They are of color, damn it. And we're gonna react to it. I think they're funny, entertaining, they're crazy, especially her girl, Juju. She is fucking hilarious, in my opinion. So we're gonna go ahead and watch. This video is called First Trip on LSD. Some cry, some twerk. I really hope she did not take no LSD. I really hope she did not. But we're gonna find out now. Hey, you fuck it up! Bust it open! Hey! My name is Sulema, and I took LSD. Oh my god. Huh. Snow's cousin? What? No, this is, I'm just gonna shot. Hi! <laughs> I'm Suli. Um, in case you guys haven't seen me around, well, get used to it, because I'm gonna be here for a little while. Woo. Or a long time. Well, it all depends. Um, depends on what? I don't know if you like say, no, get the hell out of here. <laughs> no. But I hope that doesn't happen. So I'm gonna be here. My name's Sulema. I just got back from Mexico, and I'm excited to be here. I've been okay. on for like 10 years, give or take, about 10 years. So I'm just kind of lost on everything. Snow and Juju have been helping me get updated on everything. That means on knowing how to be a bad bitch. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Embarrass her, y'all. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Now start spinning your legs and shit. Break dance, girl. <laughs> okay, so I started taking um, Daddy Juju's twerking class 101, but apparently I felt completely my butt and my body just aren't connected, so I just kind of suck. But I will keep trying. I promise I'm gonna learn how to twerk and then show you guys how to twerk. <laughs> oh no. Oh um, so no. So she's teaching me how to twerk. She's teaching me how to be a bad bitch. That means <laughs> period and sis. Like, yes, have to say sis, but you don't sis everyone, like you kind of just, you know, you gotta get an attitude. She's cute, I like her already, okay, I like Snow's cousin. So my question is, you came back from Mexico, because you've been gone for 10 years. What made you go back to Mexico? That's my first question. Second question is, what made you come back? <laughs> and what? third question is, what made you learn about the American current situation with Snow the Product and Juju. You are learning, you're, you're about to learn some crazy shit and you don't even know it yet. Oh, shit! <laughs> so for Christmas, I took some LSD. I took more than I should have and oh, I was like tripping. <laughs> and Babe was pissed at me the whole time. So for New Year's, I was like, so you know how it feels. I think we should try it again. And she was like, no, no, all right, let's do it. How many hours has it been? It was three minutes. <laughs> How many hours has it been? <laughs> what the f dude? I'm pretty sure this video is not monetized because they're talking about drugs. <laughs> Alright, I fell asleep. I fell asleep while I was drinking. You better not fall or break that. Oh wow, this is what we should put the gummy in. Oh no, it's not tall enough. Julita, get off that. Can I get greasy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, no. Delisa, are you fucking dying? Oh, Ew, no. don't do that. Ew, that reminds me of that Amer the American Horror Story. No! Don't do that! <laughs> no! No! Who's no. staying with us? Girl, we're gonna be twerking. Don't be fun, don't be fun. Okay. Love you, brother. Tell me you love me! <laughs> I have never tried LSD. I don't even know anybody who has personally. So I don't know what kind of what kind of reactions you're supposed to get when you're on it. If you know, please comment below because um, this is just Juju's situation and her experience. I want to know what your experience was with it. I would never try it, but I'm interested to find out. Oh, hey, what? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeo just found out that Bash is from Lady in the Tramp, so now we need a, a what's Nier's, Nier's Wiener Schnitzel? Wiener Schnitzel, the hot dog place? We need chili fries from Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> I ate a whole lot. Oh my god, I remember I was eating chow mein and that thing was so good. I have never tasted food like that delicious before. Alright, gallon of Tito's for this <laughs> giant gummy bear. She won't stop eating. I won't Chinese. stop. She's so Mexican. She is so Mexican. Look what she's wearing. Look at her curly hair. Look at her makeup. She is very Mexican. Drooling and vibrating. I want to get two pounds of like big gummy bears. Big gummy bears, isn't it? Girl, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, you're being possessed. Tell me. Find the dog, don't need the key. Hey. Hey. The girl can dance though. She can dance though. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, look, look at their dog. Their dog tried to twerk too. I ain't lying, look. You see that dog behind, back there? Look at him twerk. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> y'all are fucking with your dogs, yo. Look at that. Look at that. Snow, you better watch your dog. He's got his eyes on her. Hey, no. I thought we were going. You gotta start from your leg, like, like while you're listening to the song, like you gotta like just amp yourself up, like start the vibration, start the vibration on your leg, right? Y'all are doing the Elvis move. This ain't it. This ain't it. <laughs> now when the bass drops, it's just like. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Some people need to hold on to something. I like the cousin. Oh, 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 Hey, go ahead, Juju. I had one moment by myself and I started crying but it was like I was laughing a whole lot so then I started like laughing and crying at the same time but I didn't like like it didn't bring me down actually like I was just kind of like I don't know how to explain it because I was actually really sad before all of this just because you know it was like my first few days back I didn't know what to do I didn't know what Aww. to expect I was kind of overwhelmed with everything and I was thinking like damn did I do the right thing you know and so then I kind of just sat there. My brother was here actually, which was kind of fun and kind of scary at the same time. No matter, I know he didn't say anything. He was just kind of laughing at us. And he was sitting there right beside me. And he was just looking at me. 
and I started like I really wanted to cry and he just said let it go feel it and I did Aww. I just started crying but like it kind of made me realize that I'm happy that I'm where I'm supposed to be or Good. I feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be right Good now for you. so Aww. I'm glad I'm glad I'm here Good for you. and that was like my only sad or Retrospective, retrospective, <laughs> retrospective. So you're still doing the English language thing, right? And uh, yeah, like yeah, I feel like I lost so much or so many words in English now. Um, so anyways, yeah, that was like my only part. Other than that, I was actually laughing the whole time. I feel like it just changes your mind about everything. Like it makes you think that like every problem you have is like a piece of dust, and it's like not really there unless you go like this and it falls in your eye. I guess you do see things for like what they truly are like you're not really like hallucinating but you just like appreciate everything and like everything is just so beautiful and then you realize like we only on earth for like a certain amount of time and we all gonna die like no matter what so you gotta like make the best out of it <laughs> but why lsd though why why even do lsd you're supposed to have that natural high you're supposed to love life and if now you're supposed to work at loving life. <laughs> they really love this song, by the way. They everywhere they go, every single day they're playing that song. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I gotta teach Zuli how to twerk. She thinks her ass needs to be bigger than what it is. Aww. Girl, I got a lot to teach you because we ain't done yet. By the way, my video is going to be copywritten because of all these songs. That's okay, I'm not monetized anyways. I'm just laughing so my eyes water. <laughs> I feel like anybody else I could be like super down on myself and like pretty insecure and like pretty depressed and shit I'm not even gonna go down the list but like we're all human and I'm pretty sure we all had like those really dark moments before so it's like every doubt you had in your mind is like literally like pointless like especially if like you, if you feel those things about yourself, like how would you overall like have a a decent like mentality and like what you putting out into the world, like your energy means a lot. So you gotta kind of like focus on yourself and what you got problems with, and then fix it, and then the relationship with yourself and with others will improve. And of course, I'm not saying you need to do LSD to do that, but <laughs> that's what LSD helps you. <laughs> so yeah, y'all are promoting the hell out of LSD. Oh, uh, what did I get myself involved with? Because I am not promoting, I'm reacting to the video. I do not promote using drugs or abusing drugs. Oh my god. <laughs> For Christmas, Juju did LSD. I thought it was very irresponsible because 
she didn't share no, i'm just joking and i just was like oh my god really this is the day you decided and she was crying and she was going through all these things and it was good because i saw her being so like grateful and open and the way she was Vulnerable. talking was like oh my god seems like you're going through like emotionally something that you like need so then when she told me would you like to do it on new year's since i for the last month of 20 19 i had been going through a lot emotionally i felt like okay maybe like maybe this is exactly what i need it to like figure it out or like get out of this slump or whatever it is that i'm going through so my cousins here now we all were like all right let's try it obviously i microdosed because i am a little bitch when it comes to anything so i was scared as hell and then we were like let's spend the last day of the decade figuring out what we need to figure out internally um and i think i went through the more like traumatic experience of everyone i feel like zuli was like eating chow mein all day I feel like she was like in a pretty cool like, space besides the twerking obviously uh. juju was just like twerking all day and zuli and then me like i kept for some reason going to the bathroom and just like sitting there and like being in my head and juju kept trying to get me out of the bathroom so that i wouldn't be in my head because she's like i already know you you're overthinking and all that stuff but i kept on going in there and i know i cried and i know i got i went through a lot and then eventually like when it was all over when it was all said and done i felt happy that it was over <laughs> i feel like i was going through a lot of thoughts that maybe i needed to go through but it was just very and then again here i am i'm the dramatic one right so like i was going through... they keep saying that the use of lsd helps you vent helps you let out all these emotional feelings that you've been holding in helps you clear your mind. They're saying all these positive outcomes from using LSD. I don't know if that's the right thing to go about this, you guys. I don't know, I I'm not gonna say it. I never tried LSD, don't know enough information about LSD, but I know it's a drug. And <laughs> listen, y'all don't need to use drugs to clear your mind, to express yourself, to let go of your emotions. That's what therapy is for. Go to a therapist, go to a counselor, go to a psychologist. Talk to your friends, talk to your family. Talk. Talk. Things in my mind that I was like, what the heck, man, this sucks. But then I woke up the next day and I was really happy that I went through it and it made me happier it made me this isn't in any way to tell anyone to do drugs or anything for real like, yeah something like that like lsd it does kind of make you there's this what is it ego death thing that they talk about or like they kind of like i guess here i'll put it up here ego death complete loss of subjective self-identity a phase of self-surrender and transition Hmm. So you do kind of feel that where the reality kind of like is weird and I don't know I think that's what I was crying about was just like the my perception of myself in the world or like I don't know Juju Juju said it best I think when I was on it she was like I'm kind of like the WB frog um she said I was like the WB frog and that shit got to me because she was like I don't always need to be like entertaining like people who are at my house or entertaining people or like putting on a show like she's like you can just like not and I was like that's so true like what the fuck but why connect that with the use of drugs though why even have that connection i don't know i guess that was just to their her experience i don't know like me i don't know that got to me there was a lot of weird little things that kind of got to me and i remember just towards the end of it having a very deep conversation with juju and it wasn't necessarily about our relationship it was just about me and like a lot of things that i feel like i did wrong or have gone through in my life or whatever so it was dope i definitely don't think i want to do it again shit is scary as hell um but maybe i don't know i was kind of i kind of wish that i was just twerking because it seems so much funner that's a weird that's a weird um experience i guess definitely don't do it if you're not prepared for it because i could see how it can make you very like think about things really weird but on the fun side i couldn't stop cracking up because juju and the twerking and then my cousin i was happy that my cousin's here and then my other cousin was here i like having family around um i hadn't had family for a while like around me for the holidays that's what's so up. it was really fun oh my gosh and we're gonna put in a couple clips even ito ended up dancing what let me see Dance. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Holidays, like, we got to do like just dance. <laughs> and like boxing and virtual reality. And 
dancing to Mexican music and yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that little Mexican dog. Go ahead, boy. Handle your business. Hey. I don't know that dance. I've tried it and I keep fucking up. So fun and I'm so happy. I'll stick to my cha-cha slide. I have, like, you know, throughout the last, I guess, year, two years, I mean, I've lost friends, I've stopped talking to people, I've definitely changed the way that my business runs, I left the label, I left management, I've tried to, like, shed as much as I can that is negatively impacting my life, and I've kind of tried to, I don't know, return towards, like, family and, like, focus and, like, trying to put all my energy into something positive. As you guys know now, we shared that I want to get a ranch really badly, and then in the next, like, two years, I guess, maybe, like, have another kid like that would be really cool um and just focus on like okay. music and positive stuff and being creative and my tribe and my people like the fan base that we really want to um, focus on um so i don't know overall i think it was at a perfect time i think my cousin being here is at a perfect time i think this weird LSD trip was at a perfect time. I think everything that I'm going through is just perfect. And I don't know if it's just that trip that made me so much more positive, but I feel like everything is so where it needs to be. And that is amazing for 2020. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited. We're gonna be vlogging two times a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Make sure you keep up okay. with us. Like, share, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all that good stuff. Tell us in the comments what you wanna see from every night night. We did have a couple different ideas. We thought it was either gonna be a podcast or like it could be a live which is like subscription all right so i'm gonna stop it right there because she's promoting more of her channels and stuff like that and we already got what we wanted we reacted to their video of their use of drugs <laughs> oh, i don't know what to say make sure you like comment share and subscribe to my channel please turn on that bell so you can get notified every time i upload one more thing share my channel please I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, y'all. All right, you guys, see you in the next video. Peace.